This is either going to be the start of a new video or I'm going to slip it in somewhere. It's Wednesday, we need to go through some sales. It's my foot creaking on the chair, all right? So I think you've seen Monday, I think. You have to excuse the attire. I'm literally... Shring, shring, shring. It's late at night. So basically my routine, as I've mentioned before, I'm not gonna mention it again after this, is up in the air. So I've got to do my work as and when I can for the next 10 days, whatever it is, until Ada goes back to school properly. So you'll have to just bear with me. Anyway, first off is Vinted as always. And I want to give a big, big, big thank you to Melly. She is Fat Punk's wife, I believe. I'm getting, I'm going to say wife. If not, marry the girl. Don't get any ideas. She's always listening. I need to keep my feet off there. Pick this up in, have you seen that video? I don't think you have yet. It's going to be out tomorrow, which means it's to be out the next day. So I probably I'm going to insert this clip. Pick this up from a charity shop for a pound, I think it was. Sold it the same day to Melly for five pound. So you and Steve, I appreciate you both. Thank you so much. I was on his to you soon. That's not how Sid sounded. It's on its way to you soon. It's close enough. And a pickup from the same day. I told you this would buy, this would be bought and sold on the same day, the GTEC battery. I did go into a bit more detail about it, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit more now, just so you can all keep your eyes out for it. GTEC, predominantly known in the vacuum world, I guess, but they do vacuums, they do battery powered hedge trimmers, lawnmowers, which is what this is for. Paid £9.95 for this battery and charger, both fully tested, both fully working. Sold the same day for £109 and a few pence. In lovely. We've sold that Samsung camera now that I paid £10 for, I think, on a car boot sale. I said I was going to list it really high and get it moving fast. It didn't sell as fast as I wanted it to. Wait, that doesn't sound right. I said I was going to list it for around about £119.99, then take an offer of 99 but it just wasn't moving, unfortunately. However, we did get a nibble. I'll show you what it is. It's a nice Samsung DV in the most immaculate condition I've ever found a camera in. The viewfinder actually still has the protective seal on it. Got a couple of cassettes and a few extra accessories in there. Oh, there's a note on the order as well. Hey, greetings, Ricky. Cheers for the offer. You're most welcome. I'm a sub. I am a seller, but I've lost all the will to sell at the mo. Like watching your vids. Thanks again. All the best getting those bargains. Caroline. Caroline, I really appreciate you for picking this one up. Got a nice little deal there as well. £67.99 pence all in. Not bad from a tenner. But it is bad in my eyes of how long it took to sell. I think this has been two months. I don't like that. I don't like two months. The Harry Potter book has gone. I picked this up on a hunch thinking I've never seen Philosopher's Stone that big, even published by Bloomsbury. Got home and realised it's only worth about 12 quid. Sold it for £11, free postage. Not the worst. It was the same day that I was picking up those Amiibos, which in fact, might as well show you, an Amiibo sale now. We have sold Kirby. I love Kirby. Look at him. It's just a joyous fellow. A joyous face. A joyous, nice, round body. Just enjoying life, eating what he wants. And chill him. Just chill him. That's me, isn't it? He has sold for... I think it's a he. Yeah, he, because there's Mr Kirby, isn't there? He has sold for £14.24. pence. Every last one that I sell now, and I've got about 18 left, is pure profit. Paid a pound each. Another Xbox lead has gone out for £12. We're making good of these cables now. We're really tearing through them. Repeat customer as well. Not sure if you're a viewer or not, or maybe you just brought one of the other ones. Appreciate you regardless. I've showed you the G-Tech. Joseph Cheney Oxford Leathers. I mean, they are what they are. They're just Cheney Leathers. Nice shoes. If you don't know about... I need to remember, not everyone knows about stuff. Cheney. Here is the brand to look out for. Here's the logo. If I can, I'll show you like logos to look out for because they stick in the mind the most, don't they? Like G-Tech. That's why I tried to show you the logo. It sticks out in your mind more when you see it when you're out trying to get it. Cheney's. These can sell for hundreds. These are not the most desirable model though. A lot of desirable style. They sold for £33.24 all in. Joseph Cheney. Finally sold it as well. I'm not going to get it out. That's what it is. A little dash and hot dog. Hot diggity. Like a nice little. Oh, there we go. Just a cool little piece. Paid 
£2.50 for that from a charity shop. Sold it for £23.24. Westland giftware. I just took a punt on it. Anything like that, novelty, and it's cheap, especially boxed, I'll probably buy it and then do the research later. When I got home, I was quite surprised. I think one had sold in America for about $48. So that's all the sales from today. We're in... Hello? Who are you? You are? Oh, sorry. Sold this as well. Little Daphne golf cover, head cover. This was part of the snotty Cameron deal that I picked up. So I picked up loads of stuff for 20 quid. I've done £65 plus £17 plus £10 plus £28 plus £91 on the whole deal. And that is all I've got left to sell apart from one pin cap. So we've done very, very well on that one. But this one is Daphne or Delphine. Daphne. You get about 40 quid when they've got the tags on them. I took an offer of a tenner because why not? Pure profit now. I had a really, really long message on one of my comments the other day. Go and find it if you want. I can't watch video it's on though. This lady knew I was doing a good deal. I think it's on that one. Oh, it might be another one. I'm not sure. But I'm going to do a sketch about it because he went into so much depth, basically, about how much of a dickhead I am. I, I read it and I thought, that's going to be fantastic. So I'm going to do something with that. So keep your eyes peeled for that one. And that is the end of the sales there. Nine minutes on that. I probably could just release this if I wanted to, but I wouldn't do that to you. So I'll see you tomorrow for something else maybe oh no i've actually got a video from yesterday when i went charity shopping with ada or the day before that's coming out tomorrow which means nothing to you guys so i don't need to do a video tomorrow so i'll insert it look you just gotta bear with me for a bit all right i told you i'm having some routine issues <laughs> thanks to anyone who bought something off me appreciate it and just like that we're at thursday got there mate <laughs> We've got a couple of things that need to go out today as well. So we're going to add those to the video. And then we're going to head to the local toy shop. <laughs> so just to add to yesterday or today, whatever it is, it's going to be the same video for you. Oasis CD, £5.69. Oasis CD, £5.69. Oasis CD, £5.69. Nine. Nine. Well done, darling. 50p pickup from the car boot sale. We know why this is sold. Wait, wait, wait. Do that thing now. Wait. See, no. Sorry, I'll, I'll hold this for you because it's broken. Fitness DVD, £5.50. Fitness DVD, five fifty. I've had this for ages. Five, this, I just 50. reduced it. Massive thank you to Steve Smith. That's right, Steve Smith's picked this up. He's picked a few things off me now. This is sold for £12.34. One, two, three, four. He sent me a message saying, I hope you like the offer. He knows I love my weird numbers. Consecutive numbers are fantastic. They're so soothing. <laughs> for 70. Sake. <laughs> Don't drop it, Ada. Hold it onto it. Don't drop it. He scuffed it. For £17.5 Yes, we sold the Dr. Martins that we paid £16 for from the car boot sale. £75. Yeah. yeah. Probably got loads of scuffs on now for somebody dropping it. <laughs> and there we are, we're all caught up with sales. So we're going to pack these up and then head off to the charity shop, toy shop. What about those? I need to deal with those still. John's still after those Funkos. Oh, John, listen, anybody who's after stuff, there's a few people that want, want to buy a couple of bits. I don't have the options to sit in here anymore. At the moment, stop. I don't have the option to sit in here at the moment. Ada, stop, I'm trying to talk. I don't have the option to sit in here at the moment and photograph stuff like I was when, obviously, Ada's at school and stuff. So people are just going to have to bear with me, unfortunately. I appreciate your patience. But I will get round to stuff, I promise. I literally have a couple of hours in the evening, if that, at the moment. Okay. Let me try and pack all this stuff up without you trashing the place. So, see you in a bit. See you bit. <laughs> see you bit. See you bit. Your bit. See you bit. See you in a bit. See you bit. She's trying to say see you in a bit, all right, you lot. It does sound like something else. And um, we've also sold for £11.25 pence the Playmobil from that lovely lady. Haven't even processed any of that Fisher Price or Matchbox stuff down there yet. Yay! 
But yeah, this is sold for £11.25. I paid £27 for the whole deal. Got the parcels done. She's been in and out, dragging the water in. I don't care what anybody says. It's so hard trying to work with a four-year-old, especially in this job. But we have to be grateful, don't we? Stop that! Annoyingly, it's a bit wet today. It's a bit rainy. But I'm sure we will still find one or two things in here today. Have a good feeling. Do you have a good feeling? No, she doesn't. <laughs> good morning. You're right. Straight off the bat, we've got a global special. I'm not interested in things like that though. That looks cool. For the fiver. Nice big printers. These do well. What's that? That could be coming home. Eight quid. Maybe. Oh, there's loads of electrics in here today. I've never seen that before. Here we go. <sighs> Still money, but. Not enough for me. Nice little vintage night piece in good condition as well. Is it a nice size? Medium, not bad. We'll have that for three and a half. Hello? Hello. Oh, is it? No. Oh. <laughs> Just spent 18 pounds 45 in there. I'll show you what I got when we get home, but first we're gonna go see if Gourmet Queens is open and go and get ourselves some late breakfast. I got a pug, the ground has got from Toy Shop, a doll's nappy, and this little pug. Beautiful. What are you having for breakfast? My breakfast. I think we're actually rolling into day three right now. The weather is kicking it down. It is a Friday as well, meaning I don't hold much hope for the car boot sales being on this weekend. Because even if it dries up, that field's going to be soggy and it puts people off and being the end of the season, nobody needs more of an excuse than a soggy field to not go to the boot sale. But anyway, we are into day three, which means we have a couple more sales that we need to show you. Plus, I need to show you... Oh my goodness. I love the rain, though. I'm going to have to close the door. Plus, I need to show you the pickups from yesterday. And also, today, I should be having delivered my new action camera i am trading up the gopro i've had this since it's released this is the gopro 7 it's done me very well still even has the screen protector on the back a couple of marks on the screen protector but as soon as you pull that off that screen's going to be minty although i have dropped it a couple of times but it's done me very well when did the 7 come out 2018 ish had it for a while anyway let's get set up right it's looking like the weather's going to be terrible all weekend meaning I'm gonna have a chance to sort this garage out. I'm backlogged, backlogged as hell. A couple of days of being a full-time daddy, if you know what I mean. Of course I'm full-time anyway, but having sole responsibility for the day when you're supposed to be working causes problems. Anyway, I've filmed over a few days now, so I'm completely lost. So I'm gonna tie this video up somehow. Last couple of sales to show you. Oh no, I've got the haul to show you. In fact, that's only gonna take a minute. Kieran has picked up the Lightning McQueen light for his lad. Kieran O'Toole, thank you very much, mate. He's the one that scammed me out of that stuff for 50 quid. I'm joking, it wasn't a scam. I misread. Do you remember the Kenzo and the Burberry? I appreciate you, Kieran, mate. Massively appreciate it. In fact, on its way to you soon, mate. I think he's getting it for his son. Did I say that? On its way to you soon. I'm losing the plot. Losing, losing the plot. What is wrong with me today? And for £29.93, bargains galore. Necromic John has picked up this little bundle. Can't remember what it cost me. I'll cut the quid, something like that. But I think he's got a nice deal there, to be honest. And I don't mind that. I work on profit margins. As long as I'm making good profit, I'm happy to sell it. Doesn't mean I have to get the market value. Really appreciate this, mate. On its way to you today at some point. I can lost it already as well. It took me ages to find it, and now I've lost it. Found it, right. Kevin has picked up the CD lift for a tenner. He saw it in my video, in my video. He saw it in my videos. He saw it in my videos and reached out and said, "I don't know what you're gonna do with it, but I want it." So I was like, "Yeah, fine." I think I paid two pound twenty-five or something ridiculous for it. Can't remember. But you squeeze the middle, put it over a disc, let go, and it holds on to it like in claws of life. Kevin, appreciate that, mate. On its way to you today. Let me show you what I picked up from the chassis yesterday quickly, and then I'll let you go. All right. 
Hopefully I've edited this video down to a point where it's not too stagnant. Bought all the stuff. As I was leaving, I saw this little Thornton's toffee jar for £2. I thought I'm going to have to have that. It's not worth much. Maybe £12 to £15. But it's a really nice piece. Bit of crazing, of course. But you expect that. £3 vintage. Three pounds vintage, three pounds. I'm so so lost today. It's unreal. I'm so sorry. Three pounds fifty is this nice little vintage total ninety t-shirt. No pulls, no nothing. Normally you got to think about like a football shirt. They get pulls, they get snags. Nothing. Medium size, really really nice. Three and a half quid. Probably twenty out of that to be fair. But you know I'm not going to aim for twenty. I saw somebody had sold this one for fifteen pounds, and I've never seen something like it before. Very sort of Y two K era ish. So I picked it up. I'm going to take a risk on it. I'm hoping... Oh, shit. Oh, there it is. Oh, I, just thought, I just noticed it needs a power lead. I'm hoping 15 quid on it. We'll see. Doctor Who, Colonel, Corporal, whatever his name is. Oh, I can't remember. 50 pence paid. No idea on value. 10, 12 quid. And last but not least, nice little Panasonic Blu-ray full HD player for £8 with the remote. I think there's about 50 quid out of that. Beautiful. Nice one, that is. John Biggs, email me. My emails are all in the description below. I mentioned that before. That, then we can get the deal done. If I can mention them a thousand times now. And Michelle, I'll be messaging you soon. Hopefully the next time we go to a boot sale or something, I'll have my new camera with me. That'd be fantastic. But I am going to tie this video up now because I'm lost. I'm confused. I'm dazed. I've got no idea what's going on. Massively appreciate you for sticking by me through this one. Maybe I'm thinking it's going to be worse than it is. I don't know. But I just know it's been... I think I started filming on Tuesday. It's now Friday or Wednesday. I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to love you and leave you. Should we have a giveaway? What should we do? Let's do a giveaway. Um, the first thing I spotted that was worth giving away. Build a bear frog. Don't know the value, but what I do know is... It's got Kim Minion's voice box. If you want to win him, just drop a comment down below. Anything you want, and we'll get it sent out to you on the next couple of videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you soon.